So the Dolphins have traded up for the 120th pick, and the pick is in. No worries that we're going to find out who it is anytime soon because they're in commercial. Vlad, this brings us back to the point of the pick is in. Let's see how long it takes. Oh, they've, they've just totally taken it off the screen on ESPN now. Like, the pick's in, but we're not going to tell you who it is because, you know, we got other things to do. Oh, oh, it's draft coverage. Why tell you who the Dolphins have picked at 120 win? We can draw it out and show a commercial for Circle, which apparently is how they flavor water without actually flavoring water. The worst. I mean, come on. I'll tell you this. So I've been watching a lot of the draft because I've been at Duffy's like I am on Thursdays and Fridays. My cousin Vladimir Lewis was supposed to swing by on Thursday. I was supposed to be swinging by Friday. But yesterday. luckily, my other side of the family, the Day family stopped by. Rob Day, his sister, his friends, they all stopped by. They were like, where's Vlad? I said, man, can't get both. But I'll watch <laughs> it. So, okay, I'm playing music, having a good time. Oh, the Dolphins pick is in. I stop the music, turn up the TV, and just wait and wait. And, and I'm trying to fill time, like, oh, who the love is this? Could be a historic pick. And, uh, finally, I ran out of thinking, you know, tip your bartenders and servers, Sabrina, Justin, Val. <laughs> Once again, this is the place to watch all the draft, the Panthers, this, this, this. The Dolphins pick is still in, by the way. They still haven't, they, they haven't even come out on the stage. They're going to parade out somebody like Richmond Webb or something like that. But I mean, I'm just waiting. Finally, I, I started playing music. I was like, I can't wait for five. They go to commercial. So the Dolphins pick has been in for these past five minutes, Vlad, and uh, we still don't know who it is. I mean, why don't they just tell us, Vlad, who the pick is? Why can't they just tell us? I mean, we're still waiting. I am so pissed with this, man. Okay, okay, now they got somebody coming out. I don't know who this guy is. <laughs> somebody rocking a Minka Fitzpatrick jersey? I mean, who knows? He's got long hair and a mustache. Who's 24? And, and 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 they already got the other team on the uh, I guess 24 might be the draft, the year of the draft. And maybe. the pick is in. He's finally going to announce it. He's our Armando Bas ba Basurito? Oh, international fan of the year. That's that's who we're sending out Is there. it Basurito? Basurito. That means no, he's ba trash. Basurto. Basurto. That means he's trash. Basura. <laughs> he still hasn't announced the pick. I mean, like, if you haven't gotten enough draft coverage, you got to Jalen Wright, Jalen Wright, a running back from Tennessee. There you go. All that for Jalen Wright, running back from Tennessee. For the love of God. Can we just give me the pick? 5'10", 210 pounds. I'm sure he's very fast. He looks like a running back. Okay. But, yeah, man, why do I have to wait so long? I mean, I'm, I'm not even joking, lad. At Duffy's Implantation, I sat around for five, six minutes waiting and when it says picks in, I figure, oh, it's in. They'll make the announcement. No. Just wait and wait and wait. And, I mean, once again, kudos to Brian Thomas Jr.'s mom. Not everything has to be a human interest story. I mean, some of the people they wheel out there, I'm like, what is going on here? We got, like, guys breakdancing and kids from Ronald McDonald House and everything like that. Like, what's going on, bro? What's going on in the draft? It's the worst, bro. And by the way, I'm going to tell you, the, you know why it pissed me off? Oh. So the Jets made the trade with the Vikings, right? Mm -hmm. All they did was move up one spot. So when the Vikings got J.J. McCarthy, the Jets were next on the board. Ten minutes. Each team had ten minutes to make a pick. Ten. Ten minutes go. 9.59, 9.58, 9.57, 9.56, 9.55, 9.54, 9.53, 9.51, 9.50, 9.49, 9.48, 9.47. Pick is in. The Jets took 13 seconds to make their pick. They didn't announce it right away. They didn't announce their pick for another 12 minutes. It's 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 aggravating. It's funny, like Seahawks pick is in, and you can see in the background the next team is on the clock. Oh, they actually announced it. AJ Barner. I, I guess nobody has interest in the Seahawks. But fam, what are we doing here? In 13 seconds, that was record time. They made their pick, announced the pick, and then do all the other, think all the other things. Analyze the player, do whatever. Not even that. It's not even, and I'm not even an. I'm not knock, knocking the announcers or the commentators or the analysts. No, they can't say the pick publicly. 
the pick has to be said by the commissioner or whoever special need person that they want to have them say something. So it's like, I guess the NFL, with all the money that they're taking from these people, got to give them their, you know, shout them out and, 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 you know, announce them to the public. But it takes 10 to 12 minutes just to do that. Yeah. By the way, if you take all that out, that first round is done in two hours. Yeah. Easy. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. Easy. By the way, too, I when, when did the draft become the biggest sporting event of all time? Like, there's like a cast of like a million people out there. Like, the camera was panning through the crowd. It just kept going and going and going. Riddle me this, Vlad. If you have a chance to go to the NFL draft in Detroit or go to an NFL football game, wouldn't you go to the football game before the draft? Absolutely. Why are so many people at the draft? Is it like the Super Bowl now? It's not even so much about that. It's just about the scene. 